in our classes so far to use the or 2.0 authorization code grant flow we had seen how to register an app with azure id we have seen how to get the authorization code with the help of this code we have seen how to generate the access token and then call microsoft graph email api and send the email notification so all four steps we had seen in our previous classes if you have missed any of the class or all the classes please check out those classes before proceeding ahead with this class In this class, we are going to learn how to use the refresh token, what we get from this access token API in order to get a new access token. So let me go to the documentation straight away. So if you go to the documentation, access tokens are short lived and you must refresh them after they expire in order to continue accessing those resources. You can do so by resubmitting another post request to slash token endpoint, this time providing the refresh token instead of code. So the only difference between those two calls to fetch the access token and to generate a new access token with the help of refresh that is the code. So here client id we will send, the scope we are going to send, refresh token we are going to send, grant type will be a refresh underscore token, we are not going to send the authorization code this time and the client secret that is the only difference and in response we will be getting the refresh token, scope, access token, token type and expires. These are the response elements what we will get. Now let me switch over to the postman and show you with the hands on. I have created a new request over here under Microsoft collections refresh token. If you see the form parameters what I have created for URL encoding or the query parameters let me just drag it down. Here I am having a client id scope refresh token grant type and the client secret. So this refresh token value we will get from the response of this token what we had seen in our previous class. So what we had done in our previous class is we had copied this access token. We had gone to this send email project or the request here we had put this under tokens and clicked on send button so that it sent a email for us. But this time we need to copy the refresh token value from here copy just right click and copy go to refresh token here under the refresh token we have to remove earlier value and paste. In your case you have to create the new project as I have already created the project and already populated those form URL encoded values I am pasting it directly and the scope for which we had defined in the authorize that is over here offline access mail read and mail send. So like this we had done in the case of refresh token also we have to send the similar scopes like mail read mail send and offline access. Once we populate all the details click on this send button and in the response you will see when this is going to expire then scope token type and the access token we will get and the refresh token so next time when you want to generate a new token we have to make use of this request token populate over here click on send you will get a new access token so this you need to automate while building any application let me copy this access token go to our first project just remove and paste let me go to body and modify like api i will do with refresh token and in subject also I will add this refresh token press over here done let me click on this send button I am getting 202 accepted means we have successfully sent the email let me switch over to gmail account and show you the email as you can see on the screen I have received the email from my outlook with the help of graph api with the subject that we had modified refresh token and in the body also I am getting refresh token. Like this we can enable this or 2.0 authorization code grant flow and generate our own solution and access Microsoft graph apis with the help of access token and also we can create our applications in order to refresh these tokens and access Microsoft graph apis as and when it's required. Here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers. We are launching membership program for Binum Learning. You may now join Binum Learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards. In order to know more or join and be a member, you need to go to our channel. After landing into our channel page, you need to click on this join. When you click on join, you will get various membership plans. Accordingly, you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership. For more details, you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button. 
similar steps you can follow over the phone as well you can go to our channel there you will find the join button you need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of Vinam learning channel it includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available if you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like one three five so these numbers are equivalent to us dollars if you want to buy more coffees you can just enter the number over here and click on buy we would like to thank all our subscribers viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly thank you once again and happy learning